So before we really go into our caravan-y, holiday-y type plans, we've got some thank yous and some stats to share with you, haven't we? Oh, bloody hell, yes. Yes. We have just had an email from YouTube to say how the channel has been performing so in, far. Yeah, in 2023. Up to the end of 2023. And I'm going to say thank you very much. The support has been fantastic. We have had... Go on, tell right. them. 348 new subscribers you might think that's modest but that's huge for us so thank you we have had just under 70,000 views so 69.6 thousand views which is brilliant um, our top video is <laughs> how to board the Euro tunnel train with a large caravan from the French side so from France to the UK I'm pretty sure that's the one where I said and it feels like you're going around Exactly, yeah, driving all over the place, yeah, yeah, but yeah. absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> and we promise that when we go to some of the other foreign places that we're going to, or we'll film some of that as well. Just so that I just think for some people it dispels the mystery and takes away some of the fear of going away with a caravan, and ours is a bigger one, um, uh, to Europe. Yeah, exactly. It? And this channel is all about sharing. We're not yeah. sponsored by anybody. This no. is us doing stuff, and all this is at our own expense. Yeah, the only thing that you'll see me do is, if any of you get Caravan magazine, and um, I do a column in there, not every month, but called Pitch Side. Yes, indeed. And I've you done do. that for a few years now. But um, with that video, that, that video I just said about your return on France, blah, uh, 408 hours that clocked up. I shall put a thumbnail up of that at the end of this anybody planning on going abroad you might find some of that useful too yeah absolutely so thanks very much for all of that <laughs> okay, have you stopped being on your order? What do you mean I haven't started being on my order? <laughs> you have. Um, anyway, welcome to our review of 2023 and our look forward to our plans for 2024, whether those plans are together or separately. We don't quite know how the year's going to pan out yet. What? What's happening there then? Because Steve wants to get away a bit more than I do, which is perfectly fine. Um, so occasionally he's going to go off on his own and occasionally I get to go to Las Vegas on my own and I didn't, did I? No, no, no. no. Anywhere like that. Because he piggybacked it. He yes. piggybacked it. Anyway, let's go back to the beginning of 2023, our sort of caravan journey, which started in 2023 in February. It with did. a very nice trip. It did. Yes, it did. And a very surprising trip, actually, because we went to a CCC site called Tavistock. Mm. And you had the moors right next door to us. Yeah, right next. Fantastic. Place right that next to Dartmoor. Nice little site. Really friendly people, wasn't it? Really good dog walk. It was, and and the flowers were just coming out oh, the time of year when we just went as well. So it's beautiful. It was, brilliant. It was brilliant. like an um, avenue of snowdrops and a few daffs, wasn't it? But that that would be a, a highly recommended one. Mm. Um, we, I mean, normally we head for beaches and things, but this was fantastic. Yeah. And we enjoyed it. Walking on the moors was lovely. It was a bit cold, icy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Well, yeah. in the mornings, but it soon warmed up. It's yeah, all yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Great yeah. place. Well, I really recommend that. And then where do we go next? Well, after that, we went to Burford. And mm. that's where we had our chinwag about, are we going to buy this? Oh, yeah, of course. And I think the weather was pants, actually, when we yeah, went the to weather Burford. Was, well, I'll, I'll, I'll chuck up a couple of photos on the days when it didn't rain, but it, it was all right. Uh, but really, that was a chinwag, really, for us to decide whether we we're going to bite the bullet and go for this or not. Yeah. OK, site three. Well, no, no. In between this, mm. there was also the other conversation because we were having some building work done mm. on the house at the same time, mm. um, which was to remove the old conservatory and put up a proper extension. So we had all that kicking off. For, for my office. Yeah. For my office at, at the home. same time. Mm. And then we went um, for our last trip in our in the old caravan 
to Devizes Caravan and Camping Ooh. Club site. It's a bit of a theme going on with the CCC site. Yeah. Because they turned out to be quite a bit cheaper than the Caravan Motorhome Club sites. And you, I've noticed this year, 2024, that they've started reducing the prices. I wonder why. Ah, that's right. We were going to go there with our new caravan, weren't we? That's right. But it wasn't ready, so we went with the old caravan anyway. That's right, yes. And Devizes is a favourite little local place of ours. Right under the canal, you can walk up into Devizes quite easily. We've been there lots of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spout Lane. It's in Spout Lane. Yeah. I really like that, Spout Spank. Lane. Spout. Spout. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Yeah. And then um, it was that time of year then, because we ended it in the May-June time, of David having to do his GCSE exams. Mm. And then my work was sending me off to Prague to go and do some business out there. It's not a jolly. Last time I went, I never even got out of the airport. It's that type of place. But it was busy. Mm. And then came back to the new caravan. Yeah. Which was good. Yeah. Oh, the new caravan was great. Um, there were snags. There have been snags more than our other two caravans. Yeah, well, well yes. Yeah, there has been. Yeah, yeah in we the might, end. might talk about that more. You've seen, we've made various films about it. And we do love it. We're in it now, obviously. Um, but, yeah, the, the snags have been a pain. But then we picked it up, because normally we'd take it out for a test run. Mm. Never got a chance to do that, did we? Mm. So we had to go straight mm. to France with it. That's right. For our main summer holiday. Yeah, we went to France for two weeks. Not in the school summer holiday period no, for the UK. No, for the first time ever. We did it <coughs> correct, yes, because um, my youngest son is now old enough to be able to be at home so we can actually go in the cheap bit yeah which was the first time ever however that does have a little bit of a downside in so mm. much that not everything was open but then mind that was uh, okay it was okay and, and we shared lots with you about that and that site we've been to that site before i don't think we'll go to that site again we've been two or three no times i think cause... i think we've done the northern bit yeah. of france and we've done down mm -hmm. to like pornic so we're looking to go further on down south. Well, we may have plans for France. Yeah, we'll more on that in a minute. Yeah. We'll come to that. Yeah. But at the same time, as soon as we got back, we had, <clears> then had to leap on a plane for the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, yeah. which was fantastic. Yeah, it's the second year in a row our daughter Georgia. She was taking part in Exeter University performance written by her and her friends. And we've done that two years in a row, met relatives whilst we were up there because Steve's originally from Scotland. So we stayed in Glasgow, travelled across to Edinburgh for the festival, went back to Glasgow, met one of my business <coughs> friends. Yes, indeed. And his, and his husband, didn't we? Yep, and yep. Met him in Glasgow and then uh, headed home. So ended up being quite knackered. And then, of course, when we got back from that, sorry, I'm reading at the same time because I can't remember all this. Yeah. We actually went to yet another CCC site. But that turned out to be a surprise as well because that was right next to the river mm. in St Neots. Fantastic week away that was. Well, you went for a few days and I joined you because I was working. Um, so Steve picked me up. I got the train to London and then up and Steve picked me up. And then you went paddle boarding, didn't you? Yeah, no, I was working as well. But, you know, all I just need is decent internet because I'm <clears> one of these remote workers that can work mm. anywhere. So, yeah. yeah, which does make you think about internet on sites a lot um because a lot of them are poor yes aren't they or you have to pay extra to get something decent i think that needs to be sorted that, wow it's a case of when it will be because the trouble with camping sites in general or caravan sites is that they're on the outskirts of towns mm. right which so uh, you get a decent signal in the middle of towns in like in swindon for example you get 5g only a few streets away but not where we are. We get mm. 4G. And if you went further out, you're lucky to get a signal at all. Yeah. And then, after St Neots, you got that email. Yes. I and, we, was... and we shot off. Yes. We, I, I, note the word I, was invited to go to Las Vegas uh, at someone else's expense to attend a technical conference so I could write about it for um, an uh, online magazine I write for called SME Today. So I was really excited and ready to go on my own, except um, my little uh, jolly, no, it wasn't a jolly, it was hard work, got gate crashed by Steve. No, it who, didn't get going. Yes, crashed. you did. We did. Uh, he pushed in, but couldn't resist when we were out there going to an RV site. and given Well, one, that had to be done because yes. we're doing that. 
we are going to do that in our 60th year we are going to take an rv across a route in america and we'll share that all with you ad nauseum um so you went off and did that whilst i actually worked well i didn't know what a articles. class a was and a class c was because i'm a caravaner not a motor roamer yeah but anyway so but it, it was a great opportunity to do something completely unexpected at the beginning of the year we, we wouldn't have even put las vegas on our bucket list really would we no no and then after that um we're kind of capping the year off we went to bath christmas market oh no we've forgotten in september we went to horsley didn't we before las vegas just oh, before yes we did we went to Horsley because, again, work-wise, I was giving a talk, a business conference, in that area. It had been booked for ages, so we went made a long weekend of it. That was another CCC yeah. site, which was also quite surprising, because that was around about the M25 <clears throat> bit. And what I was not expecting what we found. Yeah, it was a nice site. You could go out the back to that wood, couldn't you? And the dog could run around, so that was nice. Oh, that was fun. Great yeah. if you were fishing, because there's a big lake there and you can fish. Loads of people were fishing, weren't there? I'll pop a thumbnail up at the end yeah. of this and, and, and you, you can, can see, see that one as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, and then Bath Christmas Market mm. and the little disappointment we had on uh, one of the affiliated sites. I mm. won't mention who it is, but you've probably seen the video it was up like a few weeks ago yeah i don't think that's a place we'll be going back to there were some nice bits of it but um you know a i'll pop a thumbnail up for that as well because we've yeah. got room for that too you'll, you'd... you'll be able to see what it yeah. is yeah i mean you know i don't like going anywhere where i feel like i'm being treated like a child who's got to be told a hundred billion things you're not allowed to do especially when you're paying good money actually it's probably more expensive money than caravan and motor own yeah. club sites are in general so yeah, yeah. disappointing and disappointing. Bath, um, bath christmas market is amazing but oh is it busy oh god yeah oh is it busy so what i would say to you with that is if you're ever gonna go make sure you're there when all the shops and things open because as soon as uh, an hour in you'll just be in a sea of people won't you you will uh, if you can find anywhere to park yeah use the park and ride just that's my yeah, advice even that, had a big queue. that did have a big queue but at least you'll get in easily don't try and park in the city center which is a green air zone anyway now so if you've got an older car you are going to be charged so use the park and ride yeah yep. and then we capped the year off with christmas day obviously <clears throat> yeah. but the day after was in boxing day now we went to a football match i'll mm. let you explain why okay i don't like football football does not interest me we are not footballers um, Steve likes Arsenal and we'll watch Swindon maybe on the telly in England. I probably lost a few subscribers now. <laughs> Sorry. However, <laughs> we have over the last couple of years been watching on whatever channel is it? Disney, Disney Plus. Plus. The uh, story of Wrexham. Uh, some of you may have watched it. Uh, you know, they're funded by film star Ryan Reynolds and some other bloke that I'd never heard of and can never remember his name and isn't really well known in the no, no, England. He's certainly well known out there. He's well known here, in, yeah. Our children introduced us <clears throat> to this programme because of Ryan Reynolds, yeah. really. And it's just, it's a classic, beautiful series about all the stories around Wrexham Football Club and the people within it, footballers, supporters, the community, and we were hooked. We've watched both the series and it just turned out that Swindon Town and Wrexham are in the same league now. Um, well, it's debatable if they are the same league, but they're physically oh, the, the same Wrexham league. won't be in the same league for much no. longer. They'll be going up again. But and on and Boxing Day, they were playing Swindon at home. So we booked tickets to go to that, didn't we? Yes, we did. So I had a little day out there. So that, that, was, that yeah. was a fun thing to watch. Wrexham win, but you'll see that. Wrexham Swindon did, win. did try hard. <laughs> They tried hard in the second half, but they were pants in the first half, and that kind of was the nail in the coffin. But I'm so glad we went. But anyway, let's talk about yes. 2024, because yes. this is what we're after. Yes. So I know that in a few weeks' time, it's January now, um, the caravan will be going in for more snag and works. Mm. Um, um, there has been, as Fiona has alluded to, been probably more bugs and things that have been happening with this caravan than I would have liked. But at the same time, we are chipping away, knocking down the wall, and there's only a few things left. 
so more on that when it's finally done but yeah. so that would be january and then in february we're going to return the favor to wrexham by going to a site in wrexham yeah yeah we're going we're going to look at wrexham um and have a bit of a look at that. yeah have yeah. a bit of a nose around decide if we're going to see a match or not um and so you'll you'll get to come with us obviously like we always share those things with you so in february it's wrexham then in march uh, hang on a second there is a the, the, i'm going to say something here we said because of our 60th is coming up we are going to be doing that motoring trip yeah right? which is why i went to las vegas in the first place to go and have a look at some of that lot mm, Apart yeah, from the fact it was yeah. A nice place to go. yeah but anyway so what we said was we are going to have to save up and therefore not do as many foreign trips with the caravan as we normally do yeah, so therefore the... we booked to stay here for the summer holidays yeah. didn't yeah. we yeah for the next however that's not happening is it for the next couple of years however no it's my birthday in march um because i'm a year younger than steve just got to point that out um well born in a different year anyway um so we're off to belgium yeah we are for a week we're going to go to belgium now we have been before for my 50th birthday and it was an unmitigated disaster wasn't it steve it was but this time we're, we're going to go to do all the mm. belgium sites at the top of belgium this time you know antwerp and bruges and ghent to i want to go that. to ipa we've been to the menon gate if you've never been there it's that, all inspiring that'll be fantastic we'll yeah. show you that yeah so we're, we're going there so we're, we're going to do that oh yes just before we leave um this time I've elected not to use the Caravan and Motorhome Club to do the booking. I thought I'd choose the Caravan and Camping Club this time. And they partner up with an outfit called All Camps. And I have to say, it was a pleasurable experience and it was booked fairly easily. However, when you get to the ferry booking, what a nightmare. I had to actually phone the ferry operator. Sold that, so I went back to the Caravan and Camping Club after spending half an hour on the phone. With them, you can book online. And then, when we get to May, there's two bank holidays. Now, these are the only things we haven't booked so far. Mm. So, there will be some news on those when we get to those. And then, our summer holidays then. So, this was the plan not to spend so much money going abroad. We thought we'd do it here. So, mm. somewhere we haven't been to with the caravan is the Lake District. So, we're going up there. Mm. And across the other side of the country to Scarborough. Right, for a week over there. So... We're going to mm. see what those are both like. Both clubs do those two locations. Clubs. Oh, so one's a caravan on my time, one's a and one's CCC. CCC. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be an, that'll be a new area for us. We have been to the Lake District years ago. Yeah, we yeah yeah. It was in the lodge and things like that, but yeah, um, yeah not not for a, a, a good long time. So we'll so, be doing that. And then one of your clients. Yes. Yeah, so, so this whole thing about not going abroad isn't working out very well for our twenty twenty four plan because. One of my clients, all being well, fingers crossed, and with a fair wind and a lot of hard work on his part, will be competing in the Paralympics in Paris. Um, this is no small feat. It is no small feat. This is a blind man who does judo. It's, and he's a gold medalist. Yes, he is. You can look him up. His name's... Um, if you look him up on the internet, it's often Chris Skelly, but he's married now, so it's Chris Hunt Skelly, MBE. He's an amazing young man. He's only 30. He's registered blind and he's been doing judo for many years. And he was spotted um, uh, fighting sighted players blindfolded. <laughs> I was trying to get my head around that. Yeah. Fighting somebody who can see mm. and he's winning. Yes. He has a condition which is like um, an albino condition of the eyes. So it's very painful. It can be with light. So it's affected by light. So he's not registered blind in the way that we might understand blindness to be. So in order to stop that light going up and down and affecting him, um, he um, now he wears special contact lenses and um, dark glasses, but then he would blindfold himself so he could focus on the sport. He went to Tokyo and competed and he won gold in his weight category. So we are hedging our bets, aren't we? We are hedging our bets in, in that he'll assuming make it, that he's gonna make qualify. It and we want to be there it's a once in a lifetime opportunity we've already booked <laughs> our site in faith 
near Paris that we can go on a long weekend and see Chris compete. And the irony of it is, if we do manage to get tickets, and fingers crossed we will, to see him compete, in the Paralympic Village will be his wife Louise, who I also work with, who's a former Paralympic wheelchair tennis player. Um, she'll be commentating on the wheelchair tennis, so she'll be in the same village but not able to be with and him. And on the telly, you'll be able to see it. Please, if you can't yeah. attend... Well, please make sure you tune in and watch this. Absolutely brilliant. We love the Paralympics. We love the Probably Paralympics. Probably slightly more than, than the, the normal Olympics. Olympics. There's but. something just so awe-inspiring. And now that we know two Paralympians as friends... And one of them is a gold medalist, and we've got to touch his gold medal and talk oh, to yeah. him about that experience. We feel like we're part of his team. Of course, we're not because we're super unfit. Um, yeah, but, really you know, we can't let that opportunity go <clears> by. When the Olympics came to London, we bid for tickets and we went, and it was fantastic. And <coughs> I never thought we'd be going again for any reason, really. And here we are. We're, we're fingers crossed, in faith, we've booked. So I was hoping for a slightly more gentle, uh, not so busy year, but it's not playing no. out that way at all, is it? Well, we haven't planned anything else after Thank August. Thank goodness. Thank goodness so, so far. Well, that's in September, isn't it? That's in early September, but I'm sure you'll think of something to do before Christmas, won't you? I'm more than almost certainly. Mm. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Please don't forget to support us this year, and we're so grateful for your support so far. Please like, subscribe and hit the little bell.